What's going on everybody? So today I thought I'd create a quick YouTube tutorial on how to create the 235 aspect ratio in DaVinci Resolve. Um, now I've got a clip here on my timeline ready to go. This was shot in 4K DCI um, and I've downscaled it to 1920 by 1080. Uh, so it's just a standard sort of 16 by 9 ratio right now. Um, so there's a couple of ways to do it. The first way is to jump up here to timeline, scroll down to output blanking, and then hit the 235 ratio here. And it's going to give you the 235 cinema ratio bars, essentially just the black bars that drop down onto your footage. Now this is fine for things like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but on exporting you are going to be exporting the whole 16 by 9 with just these black bars sort of baked over top of the footage which isn't as ideal um, so for more of a correct correct approach um, what you're going to do is jump back up here reset this so now we're back to our starting point here and what you want to do is open up your settings here and master settings 1920 and you want to change this to 816 and that's going to give you the 235 aspect ratio and I'll show you how to get that calculation shortly and then you want to come into here to image scaling and then you want to go to scale full frame with crop and then save that and you see that's given us the wider screen with the 235 aspect ratio now let me show you what happens if you don't click the image scaling so if we put it back to scale entire image to frame or to fit and hit save. So it's going to give you these black bars on the edges here. So you're getting the whole frame here, but it's not scaling the image to the right aspect ratio. So jump back in here and save. And you're good to go. And so that's going to be just perfect to the aspect ratio that you want, 235. Now I've played around with this a ton because when you export this way for uh, Instagram, what it's going to do on Instagram is it's going to crop off the edges of your video because it can't post a video that wide. So that's why doing it the previous way with the black bars is typically a better way to do it for Instagram. And so how we get those settings is we bring in the calculator here. Now if you're working on a 1920 by 1080 timeline, you want to do 1920 divided by the aspect ratio you want and hit enter and you get 817. So you always want to round it out to an even number. Um, I don't know the exact science behind that, but uh, I don't think some codecs like to be exported in uneven numbers. So you normally go 816, I sometimes go 820 just to round it out there as well. And then if you're using like a 4K timeline, 3840 divided by 2.35, you're going to be looking at 1635, uh, 34 sorry, that's perfect right there. And then if you're using DCI 4K, so 4096 divided by 2.35. You're looking at 1742 and you'll get the same results exact same results i can quickly show you that now here as well if you like so if we had a uh, 4096 by 1740 see it's going to give you the exact same results as the 1920 by 816 let's bring that back again 1920 by 816 See, exact same results. So there you have it, that's the uh, 235 aspect ratio in DaVinci Resolve. Super simple, I love how intuitive DaVinci Resolve is. And I also love that it doesn't crash 13 times a week. Good times. All right, so if you got something from this video, leave a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.